welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be an update to my rolling product pan eyeshadow edition. And if you haven't seen any of my videos in this product before, I will have my playlist linked down below. And basically I started this product in February and I picked, I rolled all my palettes uh, down on small pieces of paper. And then I picked five of those papers and five palettes and then I picked one shadow in each palette to try and hit pan on. And then uh, over the updates when I have uh, managed to hit pan on something, I have rolled that one out and then uh, pulled a new uh, palette to work on, <laughs> or eyeshadow to work on. Um, so yeah, this has been pretty successful uh, thus far, So, uh, and this update is actually pretty exciting. So uh, because the previous update I did not manage to hit pan on anything, and yeah, I'm sorry about the lighting, it keeps... Um, changing because changing the sun keeps uh, getting in and out of clouds so yeah I'm sorry about that but yeah let's just uh, jump in and this time I'm going to start with the one I've had in my product the longest and then I'm going to like yeah you know <laughs> do them in uh, order yeah sorry like that Okay, so the first one is uh, the Colourpop High Maintenance Quad and this I've had in my product since uh, the first, like the intro and I'm sorry there's like a fly uh, flying around in here so if you can see that I'm sorry but uh, so this is the shade I'm working on, it's called Get Out and uh, I'm going to like insert pictures uh, so that you can see like the progress but I don't think there is I've only used it like a handful of times uh, since last time so I'm not uh, doing very well uh, with this shadow but I'm going to keep working on it so the second eyeshadow is the sleek candy palette so this was a limited edition palette a few a few years ago and this is what it looks like on the inside and the shade I've been working on is this uh, shade right here, which is called Apple Sour. So this is the shade I've been working on, and as you can see, I haven't hit pan yet. Uh, and I don't know, there's like a tiny dip in it, but ugh, there's a fly in here. But yeah, there's like a tiny dip in it, but I'm just going to keep working on it. It's not like an everyday color, so I have been struggling a bit with using it. And I used to use it a lot on my lower lash line, because in my previous video I showed a few photos of looks I've done with that shadow on my lower lash line, but then I sort of got bored with it. And also because uh, at my like summer job I almost always wear like navy uh, clothes, uh, like navy colored clothes, and uh, yeah, they don't go that well together, so I'm hopeful I will be able to use it more like in the coming few months and I'm sure I will be able to hit pan on it eventually. And then the next one uh, is, ex or the next two products are very exciting uh, because I think I start with this one, yeah. Uh, this is the Sleek Del Mar Volume 2 palette and I have been working on the shade called Pearl which is this shade right here and it's not focusing but when it is I think you will be able to see that I have hit pan yeah you can see that it's yeah it's a decent pan I posted it on like Instagram when I first hit pan and I asked you guys if you wanted me to like because I hit pan like two days after I did my last update but I asked you guys if you wanted me to keep working on it or if I should pick um, a new uh, shadow but you said I should keep working on it so I did and now I have sort of like a decent pan and I use this shade mostly as a face highlight I'm not wearing it I'm sorry it's not focusing but I'm only wearing it on, like on my nose and cupid's bow today but on my cheeks I'm wearing something else uh, but yeah, it's a very pretty highlight and I'm sure I will reach for it like for a face highlight uh, in the future as well. And then the next shadow is also very exciting. It's the this shade here called, uh, I think it's called 
Tinder Sand by uh, Peggy Sage, but I'm not 100% uh, positive because I don't think I could find it. Oh, there's a fly in here. It's so irritating. But I, I don't, I couldn't find it on their website or like a retailer's website. But as you can see, I hit pan. So I had a small dip in it like last time, but I have been using it almost every single day as like a transition shade or like crease shade. So yeah, I'm very happy about uh, the fact that I managed to hit pan on this one. And it's the first matte shade I hit, or like I did hit pan on a like creamy uh, shade, matte shade that I used to just set my primer. But this is like the first colored um, or not whitish shade, uh, matte shade I hit pan on in this product. So I'm very happy about that. And it is a bit powdery, so it wasn't like extremely hard to hit pan on this one. And then the last uh, eyeshadow is the one I pulled in last time which is called Purple Haze and it's from the um, Nordic Skies or Sleek Makeup Nordic Skies palette and it's this shade right here. Yeah, and doesn't really want to focus but it's the shade like right by my hand uh, and as you can see you can see I dipped my brush in it but I haven't used it much at all because I'm a bit disappointed uh, with this shadow because I'm wearing it like on the inner parts of my lids today and it's just not pigmented enough because I used it uh, today I used it over a white base and it's just not I don't know, it's not my favorite shade at all. So I'm going to keep it in here for uh, another month and try and use it more. But if I don't use it and don't find a way to like use it, I'm just going to like consider that one decluttered. So I have a palette of... Wait a minute. If you follow me on Instagram, you know that I decided to depop my... Uh, um, some of my sleek... Uh, eyeshadows. So here are some of the palettes. I have uh, the one I was working on before, the Lagoon palette. Uh, no, the Del Mar palette, like volume one. Um, I decided to depot that one, so... Oh, stupid fly. But I decided to depot that one, so <laughs> I have pan in this one because this was in this product before. But yeah, so I decided to be depot a few of the eyeshadows. Um, into this one and I'm planning on sort of using this as my everyday uh, palette and when I finish shadows or like hit pan on them maybe I don't know how I'm going to do this exactly but then I plan on departing other sleek eyeshadow palettes so that I don't have them all departed at once and I think this is the one that's going to be uh, next and then I could also like deep but like declutter just this shade and like keep the others I enjoy using. So yeah. Um, yeah, I'm sorry I keep like doing it the wrong way with the lighting because I'm usually behind the camera so then you know it's the other way. Yeah, you know. But yeah, I'm going to keep it in for another month and if I don't enjoy it I'm just going to take it out. So all in all, a successful month. I have uh, hit pan on two eyeshadows, which is cool. And I have been using the Colourpop, ugh, Colourpop uh, Get Out, uh, not too much, but um, I mean, when I put it in, like the first two months, I was not sure at all that I was going to hit pan on it ever. Sorry about my hair, it's a mess. Uh, but yeah, now I'm, I think I'm going to get there, like eventually. Okay, so the palettes I still have left are the, or shadows are Get Out uh, and also the turquoise from the candy palette and then the purple from the Nordic Skies. So I am going to pick two new palettes to work on and here I have my uh, jar of palettes. <laughs> so yeah. I'm just going to pick one. Okay. 
oh, I'm so tired of getting sleek palettes. <laughs> but this is the sleek PPQ palette, which is sort of exciting because it's a really fun palette, but and yeah, I don't think I departed that one. But I'm going to grab one more. I guess it's a good thing because I get use out of my sleek palettes, but it's also I don't know, I want to work on my other palettes as well. And then I got the sleek snapshots, but I'm pretty sure I depotted this one. Oh, stupid fly. But yeah, I'm pretty sure I depotted this one and I'm going to go uh, look for it. And otherwise, I, I'm, I'm pretty sure. No, wait, snapshots. Maybe not. Yeah, I'm... No. I'm going to go look. Okay, so here are the palettes, which are the Sleek Makeup Snapshots and the Sleek Makeup PPQ palette. And I thought I had the part of this one, but it was not this one. It's the one, it, well, <laughs> it was the one called Showstoppers, and this one is called Snapshots, so I just uh, mix up those two. But yeah, I do have this one uh, still intact. So the first one I uh, yeah picked was the uh, PPQ palette, and this is what it looks like. It's uh, one of the oldest palettes I own from uh, Sleek Makeup, so yeah, it's nice I get some use out of it. But I mostly keep I'm mostly keeping this as like a collector's item, but still it's nice to get use out of it. And I've uh, chosen to work on this shade right here. I'm not sure where it's called, but I'm going to have that listed in the, the description box. But yeah, it's a nice green, and I'm just going to give you a swatch. That is what it looks like. So here is a swatch of the green. It's really pretty and really pigmented. So yeah, I think I'm going to be able to wear that a lot as like a colorful neutral shade. And then here is the palette called uh, Snapshots. And as you can see, it's a pretty colorful palette, but I'm actually going to take the boring, uh, yeah, boring way out, I don't know. Uh, but this, I'm going to pick this shade, which is sort of like a, a champagne sort of color. Uh, it's a bit darker than um, the one I had in previous month, so... Or no, they are pretty similar. <laughs> this is the shade uh, I'm going to be working on, and I think I might actually use this as like a face highlight. Um, same as I did with the pearl shade and on my inner corners and stuff, so I'm pretty certain I will be able to hit pan on this one pretty quickly. So these are the two shades I'm including into this product, and I mean, if I get sleek uh, palettes like next time, I'm going to be very <laughs> bored of this product, because I just want to work on my other <laughs> eyeshadows. But yeah, that was it for this update, uh, and uh, I'm sorry I didn't have as many pictures of looks this time as I've had the last two times, or the last uh, three updates, I don't know. <laughs> but yeah, I'm sorry I didn't have as many pictures, just I've been working a lot, and uh, when I'm working I'm only doing uh, basically the same look, so uh, yeah. Thank you so much for watching today, uh, have a nice day and uh, let me know in the comments if you have anything uh, you would like to share. <laughs> uh, yeah, thank you so much for watching, don't forget to subscribe and give this a thumbs up and I will see you in my next one, bye!